Just before we get into the unboxing of the SP415, I just thought I would show you the subwoofer box which is now painted. And I had uploaded a video to YouTube last week of that particular sub box. It was unpainted, uh, it was on unboxing. And this is it a week later, and as you can see, it is all nicely painted. Take it around the back, the top, sides, and here is the other one. That's two of them. So I'm going to bring in the box now with the SP415 and uh, it'll take me about 5 to 10 months doing that but for you it'll be in the next second. So see you on the other side of this. Oh wow, there's a wee close up. Turned out pretty good but I'm going to actually vinyl wrap this if I can. So I'm going to have a go at that. So if we get it vinyl wrapped I'll put a video of that up. We'll get up, see you in a minute, or a second round. Okay, <clears throat> here is the unboxing of the SP415 uh, drag unit for the whole cinema build that I'm doing. And I um, just thought I would share this with you. You've seen this before, no doubt. The screws. That's not coming out of there. Piece of wood. And just let you see. See? Anyway, put this back. Focused, yes. The pie sucker. And that is a heavy subwoofer. And that is the FISP 415. Now, this around here seems to be a polycarbonate, not the traditional, but I've been used to. And there's the FI custom car audio. I'm going to turn that round. Come on, 
can't really see it. I just went with the, didn't go for the upgrade, uh, the space or anything, because I'm only using it on a home application. Seems to be a very robust, actually seeing it out of the box. Um, strange, strange looking sort of a very fat bottle surround. Um, I'll take a lot of abuse, I uh, dare say well. Mm, rubber. Mm. Got the FI sticker, as you can see in black. Because I didn't want a big white FI looking at me across the room when I'm watching films. Let me see what that's like. Oh, that seems pretty robust. Heavy. It's a heavy thing. And as you can see, there's another box. And they're going under those two subwoofers there. So what else? Just your warranty slip. Warranty slip. Thing at the bottom. Oh, it's stuck down. Hmm. And just got that spy face sticker. That's what you get for your money. I uh, got that imported. Didn't import it from the manufacturer direct. It uh, came through a distributor, which is in England. And um, I phoned the company direct. They asked them could I import. But they said no, I had to go through the distributor. So. And uh, I thought they'd done away with these. See these here? I thought they had the tinsels, but they keep raving on about it. Somebody maybe could comment on that. See these here? I thought they had tinsels, the new tinsels that were out. Uh, seemingly they're better. I don't know. Maybe somebody could leave a comment, see what they think about these here. Anybody knows anything? Give a bell, leave a comment. I poked that out of there. Have to stick that in. That's it now. Nice and flat. So, be interesting to see this thing going. So, well, see what it's like. So, there you go, folks. That's the SP415 unboxing. The obligatory this way up. And that's the driver. 15 inch and I uh, hope it lives up to its name you know, Steve Mead and all that there uh, that's how I come to know about these things so they're good enough for him, they'll be good enough for me and my home cinema application so just leave that there a minute see what the way it is oh god that's heavy that is a damn heavy sub now, what I'd like to ask is, you fellas that stuck these in the boots of your car, how in the name of God could you stick two of those in the boot and drive about on a sub box designed to take two of those? I don't know how you do it. I really don't. If that was my car, the suspension would be wrecked. Fight another leg. Okay, folks. Thank you very much. And, um... I'll upload another video with it in the sub box and hopefully the sub box carbon fibre wrapped. Uh, if I make a recce off the carbon fibre wrapping then I'll take it off and I'll leave the black paint. And that's why I painted them black before I applied the carbon fibre because I just came about painting them after taking the fibre off if I end up making absolute horlicks of it. So I'll upload a video whenever they're in situ and also the power amps whenever I get them. So. Thank you. Bye for now.